Um, be honest. I mean, after reading Charles Dickens' book, have you ever just went, ah, this is a bad book? Well, that's prob pretty much exactly how I felt when I read this book. Hello, fellow book twisters! It is I, Aaron the book twister. Today I have this mm, very boring book named Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, the legend himself. It's um, published by Penguin Classics, even though it's a terrible book. Okay, so personally, I got to say that it was the most shockingly boring book that I have ever read. Like, personally, like, the Wednesday Wars, I didn't want to read it, but then when I read it, it was fun. I mean, that's how most books are for me. But this book was... Well, I didn't want to read it, and then when I read it, it was boring. It took me like a couple weeks to even try to get through this whole book, and usually I read this in a day, and yeah, it's kind of sad. Anyway, I even made a whole presentation about why Oliver Twist is a horrible book. So, let's get right on to it. First impression, you So, let's continue on. Oliver Twist, why it sucks. Well, this is the worst book ever, and warning, this is really boring for basically all people, including me, and to the people who think this is a good book, mm, no offense, but I don't really agree. I mean, I really don't agree, like really, really don't agree, so let's get right on to it. Oliver Twist, basic, basic summary, is he is a young orphan, and he runs away from his adopted family, kind of hard to call family, who treats him like a slave and he has to do all the servant work. In addition, he pretty much doesn't get any food except like leftovers. He's basically treated like a dog, which is not how he should be treated. And he's taken by a Jew named Fagin who tries to make Oliver join his gang of thieves. He then meets Mr. Brown. And then, um, Fagin sends him on a mission, and he didn't know that Fagin and, and the other people in, in his little gang were thieves, he didn't know that, and, well, he was shell-shocked when he saw his, um, his friends and the people ne right next to him just steal stuff, and then he was framed for it, which sucked. And then he, there he meets Mr. Brownlow, a kindly old gentleman who takes Oliver in, but then he's stolen again by Fagin, the evil Jew, and another evil man named Sykes. And Sykes is a very evil and, well, brutal man, I'll talk about him later. And then, well, after Sykes tries to make him steal stuff from an old, poor old lady's house, he is taken in by Mrs. Maylie and her niece, Rose. He then re-meets re with Mr. Brownlow and a group of people who brings the evil Jew and the evil Sykes to justice. All the villains, they, there's Fagin, the evil Jew who leads the little underground crime gang. Monks, one of Fagin, um, who is... Uh, there's a shocking reveal for him later on, and also he is very, very evil. And Sykes, he's a very evil, very violent man, and he has a gun and is not, is very trigger happy, basically. And Master Bates is also one of the very annoying, uh, very annoying little minions of Fagin, and... He's just really annoying, and, well, he's there, and he exists. And there's another one named the Dodger, but he's not really, he doesn't really do anything much, so I didn't include him in the, in the list. And then there's Noah Claypool. Now, uh, uh, alongside with his ridiculous name, he actually does a lot of bad things to, bad things to Oliver when he is treated like a dog, you know, with the, his adopted family family, kind of hard to call family, you know, that kind of family, and Noah Claypool was basically a big time bully, and it really sucked because every other responsible adult and good people thought that Noah Claypool was actually the good person, so that really sucked. 
And there's a long list of bad things that happens to a young orphan, which is he's taken in by and taken in by people who didn't care about him and treats him like a slave or a dog, as I have said. And Noah Claypool insults his mother. What the flip, bruh? And then he hits Noah. He, he hits Noah because, like, if 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 a person calls your mother like something bad, you know you're gonna pay him back with a fist, bruh. But then after that, he gets the entire blame. And then e even when he tells this, tells the adults that Noah actually insulted his mother, they just said that and she deserves it. So that really sucked. And then when he ran away from this horrible family, he is taken in by a gang of Eves to be forced by them to become one of them. And that really sucked also. And he's framed of robbery, even though he didn't know yet that he was on a heist. And he finally finds a kind man to live with, but immediately Fagin takes him away again. Which really sucked. And then he is given to Sykes. I didn't. I don't know why I wrote Fagin there. And he is also shot. And then he finds he has an inheritance. Whoop! But then it has been thrown to the bottom of the river. So, <laughs> yeah. And big reveals. Rose mainly is the brother of Oliver Twist, basically the only good thing that happens in the entire book. And one of the villains, Monks, is the half-brother of Oliver Twist, one of the worst things that ever happened in the book. And Oliver Twist has an inheritance, yay, but it's thrown to the bottom of the river, definitely not yay, so... Really, nothing good ever happens to Oliver Twist. And why this is the worst book ever. There's adventure in the jungle roof, but it's weirdly combined with historical fiction, mystery, and realistic fiction. I mean, there are good mixes, but like, it's like mango smoothie and banana smoothie. If you combine it, tastes actually tastes really good. Try it out. But if you put together tomato smoothie and mango smoothie, it just tastes like poop or... Or I don't know, dog food. I, don't, I I mean, it really tastes just horrible. And if you want to try that out, um, be my guest. Anyway, it tastes horrible. And that's the case with this combination of weird adventure and historical fiction, mystery and realistic fiction. It's just not working out. And it is not the kind of books that sucks at the first but becomes better. Or ha at least has a humorous streak in it to keep us going. It's not even like a series of unfortunate events. Which is another series that I have read throughout when I got the flu. And yeah, you really need to know about that. And, well, I'm gonna review that real soon. So look out for it. And the plot is very boring with action that is not action with justice that is not necessarily justice. So, really, it's the worst book ever. And then the English is all old-fashioned, which seems to make an already boring plot even worse, if you could imagine that. And nothing good happens until the end. And when good things happen, they come along with a bad thing. And that bad thing usually overshadows the good thing, which means that the bad thing is basically... Well, basically, nothing ever, nothing good ever happens to a young orphan. And, I'm sorry if you don't agree, but Oliver Twist is not made for reading, but for kicking. Book question. Okay, thanks for watching. And, like always, your book are in the book -wester. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously, I mean, I'm sorry if you don't agree, but Oliver Twist is, like, seriously, it's, it's too much of a boring book, and I highly disrecommend it, or you, if you want to read it, you might as well, well, read it and see how horrible the book actually is. So, thanks for watching, and have a great day.